fellow beer tubers and welcome to another edition of Keith's Beer Reviews. Tonight I'm going to be doing a, uh, a German Rausch beer. Rauch beer, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Um, basically it's uh, it's the Eich Schlenkerle Eich um, from the website um, using Google Translate because website's in German. Following century old recipes, all malts made at the Schlenkerle Brewery are dried by wood fire. While for the classic Eich Schlenkera Rausch beer, tradition, traditionally beach has been used and still is used. The malt for Schlenkerla oak smoke is kiln with wood oak. The resulting oak smoke, oak smoke malt has a smoother and more multi-layered flavor, smoky flavor than the intensely aromatic beach smoke malt. The, the hence complex smokiness in Schlenkerla oak smoke is paired with a multifaceted bitterness of finest Hallertau aroma hops. With 8% al alcohol and amber color, it matures for months in deep brewery cellars underneath ba Bamberg into a special treat for smoke beer lovers for Christmas. I've had this, I think, since January, and I'm finally getting around to drinking it. Um, it comes in at 40 IBUs, besides the 8% ABV. Um, with... Uh, 147 reviews on Beer Advocate, it gets an A-, uh, Rate Beer with 279 reviews, uh, gets a 99 overall and a 99 in the style. Um, I've had smoke porters, uh, smoky uh, uh, stouts and stuff like that, but I've never had a actual German smoked beer, so I'm looking forward to this. Let's get this in the glass and see what we've got here. All right, I don't know if this is the proper glass or not, but I just got this at Goodwill a couple days ago and been looking forward to using it. So, figured out if it's smoky, it ought to let the flavors out really good. All right, we've got a copper almost amber uh, color um, medium light carbonation streaming up um, almost no head on this I could be from the pour it could be from the glass let's get a nose on this and see what what's here okay I'm definitely getting a little smoke up front it's almost like a like smoked bacon or smoked uh, salami. It's got a good smell. There's some, I do get a little hoppiness um, and some other malts in here too. Um, it's a, I'm, I was surprised. I was expecting heavier smoke. It's, it's very, very light smoke flavor on this or a smell on this. I'm getting some sweetness though. Um, almost like, uh, it might be the might be the hops, but it's almost like some mild fruits. But yeah, there is a good. It's not a campfire smoke. It's like a lightly smoked. I'd say lightly smoked bacon. It's got a good smell, and I do like the smell of uh, of oak smoke. I use it a lot for barbecuing. Let's see what we uh, have for a taste. See how it follows. Oh, that's delicious. You get that, you definitely get that oaky smoke flavor right up front. You do get a little bit, well, a bit of the alcohol, even at, at only 8%. It's, um, you do get a little of the alcohol. Almost like a, almost like a rum, I think. But you do get some alcohol. Oh, this is a tasty beer. Hey, you get a get a bit of some some kind of dark fruit. I'm not sure what. Almost like raisins or something like that. Um, you do get it in the in the in the middle of the palate. You get a little little of the caramel. Uh, 
the, the caramel and then uh, the aftertaste you get the sweet and smokiness yeah, it's a multi smoky smoky aftertaste but it's still a real light very light smoke flavor but it's it's blended very well mm. This is delicious. Let me uh, let me sit and let this warm up and see. Uh, this is what I'm going to let warm up for a while and uh, see how the flavors change because I'm sure they will. Back in a few. Okay, I'm back. It's been oh, 40, 45 minutes or so. This has warmed up considerably. I've noticed the, uh, the flavors have changed somewhat. Um, from the initial, you know, drinking it cold out of the refrigerator. Um, you still get your smoky uh, caramel flavors right up front. Um, you still get that bit of hot, hot bitterness and some sweetness, caramel sweetness in the middle. Um, you still got that, that smoky, bready finish, but the hops have moved somewhat back and it's somewhat cleansing now too. It's a uh, more the 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 smoke and uh, and the uh, and the caramel does not uh, linger on the finish as long as it did before. I forgot to mention the mouthfeel on this. This is a pretty. This is almost. This is a full-bodied beer. I mean, it's a bit sticky. Um, very little carbonation. Um, this is a thick textured good smooth beer I'm really enjoying this I think on a since it's the first one I've had actual German smoked beer Rosh beer, rock beer, whatever it is I really like this, and I really like the smoke flavor. I'm, I'm looking forward to trying one that they smoked at the Beechwood to see the difference. Uh, smoke it, or oak is one of my favorite for barbecue, and uh, I like the flavor in this beer. This is a very well balanced beer. You just got a touch of hops um, to uh, to balance the sweet sweetness of the malt. But the predominant flavor here is that oak smoke, and I really like it. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this a 9. I recommend it. If you can find it, give it a try. Till next time, everybody. Cheers. And keep drinking good beer.